Hello everybody, this is Alice House Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Wasteland 3. In the previous episode, we had a rather unexpected encounter with the goats that is a part of the goat killer background for our sniper. Yeah, can't say I expected that. We got a minigun out of it. I haven't modified it yet because we don't yet have all the parts we need to modify it, or even the blueprints for them. But I am still going to be using it. Also, if you're wondering why I'm at the Get Family Homestead, uh, well, it wasn't allowing me to save in the location of the fight, so I had to go to the nearest place. And I, um... Don't know if this was just never removed because, well, you're not intended to ever go back, but for some reason, Randy and Nita Get are still here. Even though it's probably heavily implied that Randy, uh took care of Nita, and Randy should be at our, uh, at our garage. But that's not important. Also, I figured out why the mysterious cave wasn't showing up. It's because we need an item from the Snowed Inn Resort. Now then, once we get out of there, we are going to head for a new location. Location known as the Knox Bison Ranch, which we couldn't get to until we'd taken care of the Psychopath quest. Citizens of Colorado, this is your patriarch speaking. The flame of liberty burns bright in our fair state, but not without help from you. If you would protect that flame, tent it, and keep it burning strong. Howdy, Rangers. I got some trouble over here at my ranch. Bunch of freak shows rolled up. Seemed to want something. So I'd be much obliged if you came by. Sure. Chibis, a man hunched a hunched man tosses junk into the back of an old pickup. Some robots help him. They beep as you approach and he looks up. His face is deformed. His hands have two thumbs each. You famous. Chibis here name on wind. Rangers. One trade? What kind of name is Chibis? Heel sick. Son of Gob. What else name I have? Jesus. Ah, uh, you can heal people? Will you heal us, Chibis? We want to believe. Wait. Chibis ask. He stares at the sky, eyes fixed on something you can't see. After a while, he returns his gaze to you. God say you locusts of entropy. Good to go. Impossibly, your health improves. Show us what you have. This, my stuff. Let's see. Phase silencer. Sophisticated chamber redirects gases to achieve sound cancellation. Huh. Let's see. Ooh, 38 millimeter magnifying scope. I think that's something I need for the minigun. Yeah, that would be good. Accelerator skeleton would also be good. And it's cheap. And I got tons of cash. Headgear platform? Nah. Base temperature controller? That's for armor. Uh, let's see. Extra turkey choke, hammer forged rifle barrel, no. Let's see, Black Star sniper rifle. Would be better than the Death Lance, but it won't be too off before I'm able to buy this stuff from the, uh, from Ranger HQ, where I would be getting a discount. I will have to go through a somewhat difficult fight to get through it, but... But it would be worth it to be able to get the discount, and with my barter, uh... With my, uh, barter ranger. But yeah, I think we're good to go for now. Let me just check ammo. Let's see, what do I need? Let's see, 50 cal. Let's see, 762. No ammo for you. 
Nine mil, I think I'm good on that. 45, I'm good on that. Shotgun shells, good on that. Should I buy some 50 cal ammo? Because I don't, I don't know how much junk I got, or... How much, uh... Scrap. Decent amount, but... 50 cal tends to take up a lot. You know what? Let's just buy enough that I can get up to, uh, 100. It would be about 39. That should be good enough. And 7.62 ammo. I think that's relatively cheap to craft. Okay, well, with that little distraction out of the way, let's head back to Knox Ranch. Or, head to Knox Ranch. Can't go back to a place you've never been. And this place is going to be very, very important for us. Because it's got the last of the toaster parts. Prosperous Ranch, where the Knox family have raised bison for food and trade for generations. Mutant bison is a huge horned animal as big as a tank, and nearly as hard to kill. Good to know. Oh, and by the way, I don't know why it is, it's a fun little thing. If you look at the silhouette after putting the, uh... Turbocharger. It's even got these little cones sticking out. I don't know, just something I thought that was a little funny. Rangers. I hear laser-based weaponry. Rangers, you came! We're in dire straits here. Those twisted psychopaths want us all dead. You gotta help us. What exactly is going on? Them crazies were demanding our bison to turn him into weapons of war. Sick fucks wanted to graft machine parts onto him or something. Sounds like we're dealing with the scar collectors. When they started machining him up, the bison fought back. They don't like to be messed with and they're damn fierce. Bastards had their hands full for sure. Where are these psychopaths? They done camped out at the side door on the right. Won't keep them out long. It's our breeding pen, and most of our bison are in there. They must have noticed us trying to reinforce it and decided it was the best way in. Enough talk. Let's get them now. I'll show you the way, but I am done as soon as we see them. They're crazy. Follow me. If they're scar collectors, then I'm going to need some energy weapons for this. The Guys. sick bastards are up there. I'll just hang on back while you take care of things. Wouldn't want to get in the way. Probably for the best. Because, at least personally, I've found energy weapons a little more effective against them than regular bullets. Even if they aren't fully robotic. Ranchers, come out and play yeah, won't let us attack them right away. Gotta talk to them. What do you want? This has nothing to do with you. Mm -hmm. The ranchers called us. There'll be no genocide on our watch, assholes. Then you will die with them. Yeah, because you get a... We'll finish it. Because of their mechanical parts, you do actually get bonuses with energy weapons to attack them. Not liking the fact that Hawkeye is so close, but eh, that's what I get for having her with the highest, uh... Highest, uh... Perception. She's got to take the lead to ensure we don't walk into any traps. Let's see. These guys are definitely packing energy weapons. 
Boom. Let's go for the leader. Okay, he's down. Melee guys worry me. Let's see, what's the range of my demoralize? Yeah, gonna have to get close to get those four guys. Just another target. Alright, how much AP you got left? Five? Alright, go for this guy. Laser, let's get you over here. You got your Stormer. Ah, shoot. Well, I got him anyways, but I forgot to swap over to her energy weapon, which is unfortunately out of ammo. Alright, he's down. Let's get you back into cover. Heavy. What's the range on that? Suppressing fire of yours. Doing that. Alright, let's get you over here. Steady shot. And blast these guys. Not as much as I would have liked. Alright, get back behind here. Lucia. Hmm. Well, you get extra 30 damage because they do also technically count as organic. So let's go with your fire pistol for now. Because you don't have an energy weapon yet. And go for an ambush. Scotchmo. Let's put you up here. And... Let's do the same with your cold shotgun. Coming in from their side. Oh. Okay, more guys than I expected. Oh. And apparently the butchers are not pure melee. Got a bead on him, and... Okay, those two are down. Blitz. Ugh. I believe there's an energy brawling weapon I can get later on, but obviously later on. Which is unfortunate. And they're out of range. Heavy, let's move you up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna chew through 762 like nobody's business, but still. percent chance better than no chance. Hmm. Okay, I got decent damage off on him. <sighs> oh, one left is Blitz. Eh, screw it. Go for it. Damn nice.
Nice job you done there, Rangers. And since you're taking care of us, seems only fitting we take care of you. We could send some meat over to your HQ every so often. Sound good? Ah, can't do Animal Whisper 9. Oh well, we can always use more supplies. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Rangers. Any chance you can clear some vermin off the ranch before they go after one of our bison? What's the issue you have with these vermin? Well, all sorts of critters find their way to the bison from time to time, trying for a meal. Now, we usually keep them away, but with us being occupied lately, some made their way out back to the bison's watering hole. Can you help us clear them out? Sure thing. Don't want that meat going to the wild. Thanks, Rangers. I knew we could rely on y'all. Last we saw, they were out on the ice floe out back. We take our bison out there to drink, so those vermin are a bit of a problem. I'll leave you to it and go tend to the bison. Poor girls need some calming down. You come find me when those vermin are dealt with. Sure. I don't see why not. Ah, uh, before I forget though, let's swap everyone back to their bullet-based weaponry. Because I don't think energy weaponry is going to be all that great. Well, Lucia can stick with the K-Cannon. And let's heal up Scotchmo. Now, before we go after those vermin... There is something we need to find in here. Where it was, I cannot quite remember. It's a broken toaster is what it is. Aha! And we need toaster repair 8 for this. But, unless they've changed it, the last of the golden toaster parts should be in here. Yep, bimetallic gold alloy filament. This gossamer filament, flecked with gold, would serve as the timer release in a beautiful toaster. As you pull this shimmering piece from the now-repaired appliance, you realize you have all the components needed to build a brand new golden toaster. Each piece slots together perfectly, seeming to become an unbroken hull. As the mica sheeting, wrapped in uh, nichrome wire, slides into the casing, a spark travels along the bevel. As the energy dissipates, you can make out the block lettering. Congratulations, Master Toaster Repairman. You and your toaster are ready for what comes next, Toaster Repair Academy. 40.708173 comma negative 103.127031 Yep, their coordinates to a new location. One that I will take great pleasure in finding, but like I said, we gotta find it first. And we also promised that we'd take care of these varmints, so... Because I don't want to risk anyone getting hurt. Let's take care of that trap. And have Hawkeye open us up. And rally everyone. Why don't we go for... Critical Strike to the head. Okay. Didn't do as much as I'd hoped. And Take I don't know, mark that one. You know, I don't even know why I'm bothering with suppressing fire at this point. It doesn't seem worth it anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, you can definitely see how our, um... 
Oh, we get extra 95% because they're ice-based. Nice. Uh, anyways, you can definitely see how the SMG uh, Ranger goes from being one of the weaker to one of the most powerful allies in the party. Nice touch, though. Get an extra 95% damage because it's an ice-based enemy. And I imagine if we tried using Scotchmo's ice shotgun, it would actually do less damage. Like, a lot less. Yep. Because they're immune. <laughs> Alright, set up an ambush. Let's you get up here and do the same. Okay, these suckers do a lot more damage than I expected. Okay, Heavy, why don't you blast this Ice Hopper? I was hoping we'd get a lot more collateral damage. Oh well. Uh, Lucia... Ah, just out of range. Take care of that one, take care of this one. And laser. Why don't you get over here? Maybe get Stormer? Yeah. Ah, not enough. Scotchmo. Ah. Alright, Hawkeye, finish it. Is that? Okay. Let's see. Blitz could use some healing, but that went pretty well. Yeah, I just realized we forgot to loot those scar collectors. Ooh, yes. That'll save us some cash. Got a power gauntlet. Quick Quaid. The race goes rarely to the nice. He'll be the first to make a slice. Grants bonus to all squad members. Sneak attack damage plus 5%. Okay, this is probably going to be the best non-energy brawling weapon we're going to get. Was there anything I could... <clears throat> excuse me, craft with this? I think there was. No, not that, not that, not that. Heartstopper. I've heard that the uh, crafted weapons don't seem to be quite as good as the regular counterparts. So I'm, I'm probably not going to mess with them. But yeah, a massive damage upgrade compared to, well, what we originally had. We lose some base hit chance. But beyond that, it's just an overall upgrade. Plus, the look just seems to fit better with the uh, armor than the Clawed Gauntlet. Now, is there anything else around here we could loot? May as well check. Nope, doesn't seem like it. Yes, I know there's a grave right there. No, I'm not going to mess with it. There is, however, a diggable here, which isn't a grave, I think. Meh. I mean, some free 50 cal is bad in my book. Oh, holy, you rangers work fast. Thank you for clearing out those vermin. We'll be happy to send you the finest of our bison meat to your headquarters. Yay. And it seems we got some level ups. Uh, shoot, what was I working on for our sniper? Let's see, leader of the fist, SMG. Here we are, sneaky sniper. 
This is intelligence awareness luck. Okay. And we were still working on sneaky shit, so we're gonna need one more level before we can get that. As for perks, we were trying to get lights out. Oh, well, that can wait. Nothing there. Here we are. Awareness. Skills. Let's see. Perks. I think we were working on trying to get... Was it? The overcharge. No, conduct beams. Got that. Trigger happy. Definitely have that. Only thing left would be Big Game Hunter. Hmm. Which would require marking on survival, so eh, I'm gonna hold out. And nothing for anyone else. Alright, well, now that we have the golden toaster. Well, first let's loot these guys before I forget. Again. Energy cells, steel teeth. Why have regular teeth when you can have spiky metal ones instead? I see no flaw in this logic. Let's see, leather straps. Scar collectors use these to keep freshly installed mods in place. If you need straps to hold something in... Well, never mind. Ooh, something else I can loot. Bison skull ornament. When a majestic beast, the noble legend of the plains, took an anti-tank missile to bring him down. We ate like kings for a whole month. And incendiary capsule. Okay. Add a fiery impact to any melee weapon. Simmering pot. The aroma of rancid bison rises from the bubbling over from the pot bubbling over the campfire. Ugh. That's sort of gritty. Meh, not worth it. Bison said it's covered in numerous surgical incisions. Bits of metal protrude from many of the cuts. Yikes. Ceramo silk patches. EMP grenade. Eh, not as good as what we got from the other corpse. See, kicked to the bottom half of the dozer blade is layer upon layer of dried bison dung. Gross. Alright, we're done here. Let's get out and find that repair. That uh, toaster repair academy. Which actually ain't far off. And there is some place that we've, well, been avoiding and missing entirely. Plus, there are also the Scorpatron, so it's probably gonna be a while before I, uh... For verily I say unto you, the gods have turned their faces from this fallen world, and only the works of the righteous will bring them back again. For the smell of blood is sweet. <laughs> Nah, it's just cheap as rangers again. again. Want trade again, again? God bless. Anyways, there's a location down here that we've missed. I don't know if it only shows up after you've taken care of the Aspen. But who knows. But right now, I want to hit up the Toaster Repair Academy for good reason. Anyway, spotted. Survival. I gotta wonder, how much some... Yeah, we burned through a fair amount of it. I think it's like 18 shots. She monster. Hey, it's my favorite lambs. Welcome back, rangers. Ready to do some trading? 
Let me open up the store. Nah. All right, anyways. No, that's the bazaar. Well, he, what we want is the Toaster Repair Academy. Shining Bastion of the Ancient Art of Toaster Repair. You know what? Let's have Heavy take the lead on this. An armor crate. Power armor, not bad. A weapon crate. With the Tesla Arc Projector. Yeah, it's a flamethrower. Let's see, a safe. Scotchmo, you work your magic. Let's see, plasma grenade. Ooh, the Ripper. Best SMG. Well, non energy SMG. What's it need? 45 ammo. Yeah, definitely a massive improvement over the Seder Compact. Alright, in the large container we have. Bingo! Verchkaiten armor. It has U.S. military serial number, but the material is unidentifiable, with weird biological shapes. Each eye on the helm houses a different kind of sensor lens. Eight in all. Under the hip carapace lies an advanced, but very earthly, military-made hydrogen power core. This is the best armor for our big gunner. I mean, come on. Gives a whole bunch of cold and ener energy and fire resistance, which for heavy armor is a good thing. Plus, you know, all the armor. And honestly, it just looks cool. But that is not the only thing we are here for. I mean, there's some other stuff here that we are going to grab. Computer. The thin filament of wire extended extend from a toaster-shaped niche in the marble, alt at a marble altar. The pattern of connectors seemed to match the base of the golden toaster you assembled. Place the golden toaster on the altar. For a moment, nothing happens. Then a low hum emerges from deep below your feet. Ding. Yep, we now have a living golden toaster as a companion. Courageous. Isn't he adorable? See, the distinguished annals of toaster repair. Honestly, this seems less like an academy and more of a church slash cult. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me at this point. Alright. We almost have everyone's best armor, except for Scotchmo, because I still need to find the Spectrum Assault legs. And Hawkeye, because she can't wear armor. And unfortunately, he can't use the power armor because uh, he does not have the strength requirement, and the minus four to action points ain't worth it. All right, well, we are done here. Not much beyond all that, and the armor. Hmm. Okay. Put a man on fire and he'll be warm for a day. Set a man on fire. And he'll be warm for the rest of his life! 
I mean, you're not wrong. Hey, it's my favorite lambs. Well, so long, lambs. Okay. If I'm right, there's supposed to be a bunker around here. Like I said, I don't know if we need to, uh... Really? Huh. Based on the map, there's supposed to be a monster army bunker here. Oh well. Now then... Do we go after... The Scorpatrons? Because we can get some good stuff Wouldn't from you Peter. you I was a horse, Miss Wesson? Pardon? Where did that come from? My analysis of your attire. You resemble a rootin' tootin' cowgirl. And cowgirls ride horses. Very kind of you, Morningstar. But, truth be told, I'm a bit scared of horses. I like you just as you are. Thank you, ma'am. Well, if it won't show up, then there's not much we can do about it. Now... We could go to the Snowed Inn Resort. We could go after the Scorpatrons. I know one of the Scorpatrons, if you have the right skills, I believe sneaky shit probably, you can steal a bunch of the stuff you'd normally be looting from them afterwards. I think it's the northern one, but I may as well also tackle the southern one anyways. So... Let's get on that. Ooh, hello. Hey now, it's the Desert Rangers again. You all been making a name for yourself since the last time we met. Looking to trade? Sure, show us what Just you got. Just some odds and ends I've taken in trade. Might be useful. Mmm. I suppose I could take some 7.62 ammo, considering how much I'm burning through it. Maybe not that much. Yeah. Okay. I remember there was some exploit you could do that could get you infinite cash out of the Scorpatrons, but it definitely seems like it's been patched out. Now where, oh where is it? Uh, I th believe it's actually around here. Scorpatron! Your radio turns to static hiss. Something is interfering with the signal. The source of the interference might be the huge Scorpatron turning its guns on you. Nerd stuff. Overload the Scorpatron sensors and then attack. You overload the Scorpatron's auditory sensors with signals and noise from the Kodiak. It will recover quickly, but this gives you enough time to get the first shots in. Now, it ain't just the Scorpatron we're gonna be dealing with. We also have other robots to worry about. Alright, so we can get the first shot off on this thing. And thankfully, we do have the Kodiak to back us up. Okay, first things first. Any energy weapons we want to get equipped right away. Because these are robots, and that's what's going to be best against them. Unfortunately, don't have any energy weapons for Lucia or... Or, uh... Scotchmo. I think we try to take out the cronies first. Lucky crit? Yay! Yeah. Probably gonna be using up my strikes to take out the Scorpatron. But first things first, rally. Uh, 
Uh, let's see. Laser. I could probably move you in here. Have you take out the slicer dicer. Oof. I was hoping you'd take it out entirely. But it's weakened enough that the others should be able to take it out. Uh, not close enough I could hit both of them. Besides, the other's out of range. Good. Took that one out. Don't have enough AP for the other one, though. So, get behind cover. And before I decide anything on that end, let's see if I can't take this killer out. Good. Good, 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 good. Uh, probably not going to be ambushing anything, but I may as well set it up anyways. Let's see. Scotchmo, how about you get over here? Oof. Okay, uh, hmm. Oh, right, I got a lucky crit on the slicer dice. It's like, where is it? Okay, good. That one's down. Uh, heavy. Can I get you in range of anything? Oh, not really. Alright, let's get you behind some cover. Yeah, let's just have you set up to ambush. Hawkeye, you prepare. Blitz? Ain't a whole lot I can do with you, even with your new power fist. So let's get you over here and set up an ambush in case these things get too close. Laser, you prepare. You and Hawkeye are going to be some of our primary damage dealers. Well, thankfully, Blitz is right next to Laser. Even if we get her up, she's not going to have enough AP for anything. Target. I don't know why I keep doing that. Alright, Torrent Strike. If we're lucky, you'll take out the killer as well. Good, and did a ton of damage to the Scorpatron. Well, a ton by my standards. Alright, let's get you moved in, Kodiak. If nothing else, you'll act as a uh, nice distraction. We can take out the killer and do a lot of damage with the cluster bomb for the Scorpatron. Good. Apparently I'm doing minus 3% with the energy weapons to it, but I'm still doing more damage with this than I would with the regular sniper rifle. Okay, Scorpatron is down, all that's left is the other killer. the armor plating, get that 35% bonus damage. Scotchmo can't do anything. Should I send in... Yeah, send in Blitz, finish it off. Moving on. Okay. 
Hey! Fortunately, it doesn't appear like there's much loot here. So yeah, it was the northern one. Still, though, we can get some stuff off of these guys. Let's see, reactor component, or reactor core. Ooh, what have we got here? Pulsar, a pump shotgun. See, da -da -da -da. All right, well, we got an energy shotgun for Scotchmo, and apparently we got a tactical nuke. I am become death, destroyer of worlds. So, that's something. <laughs> Not bad. Was it worth it? Me. Eh. Alright, uh, injury kit for laser, and then get her healed up. But yeah, as you saw, the toaster can shoot fireballs at our enemies. Gonna be pretty useful for us. Well, at least when we're not against robotic enemies. I think... Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take care of the Northern Scorpatron, so... Because that's a while to go, I will meet you guys there at... Actually, let me check something. Actually, we have just ran out of time, so I'll meet you guys at the Northern Scorpatron uh, at the beginning of the next episode, because... Hopefully we have the right skill set to be able to steal everything from it and get some good loot off the bat. But with that, I'm going to have to end this episode off here for today. If you guys like what you see, please leave a like, subscribe for future content, don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications for when I upload, or to hit the straw link to vote for our next Let's Play. And please, leave a comment down below this video. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.